Good evening campers, it's me Kieran. With autumn there is pumpkin spice sipping, leaves turning red and a falling and everyone's favourite autumnal turning to winter meal, soup. I love soup so much so that my Discord now has a dedicated soup channel. I know, why didn't anyone think of it before? And I love books, so why don't we just merge the two together? If you've been following me for a while, sometimes if you don't ask, you don't get. So I sent out like way more emails than I should have, asking authors for their favourite soup recipes that I'm going to review. This is the series that no one asked for, but everyone now needs. I sent out one of the most basic emails possible. It was, hi, I'm Kieran. This is my YouTube channel where I do book reviews. See the links, you don't think I'm just like messing around to you. What's your favorite soup and can you send me a recipe? And then I'll make it. Sounds simple enough, but everyone knows the publishing world is full of rejections. And I got rejected. Margaret Atwood was the first of the climb saying that she had an incredibly full schedule, but thank you so much. I mean, Margaret Atwood had time to use a flamethrower. I'm pretty sure she could have just told me her favourite soup and provide a link. Hey ho, second email, and there's a trend. Sarah J. Mars's publisher came back to me. Sarah's honoured you thought of her. There is no chance that they read my email asking for a favourite soup and they went, yeah, Sarah would like that. <laughs> but unfortunately, her schedule is completely full at the moment. Now, I'm one to be like, oh, I know when there's like a standard email response. So I just responded back being like, she's too busy to tell me her favourite soup? I'm not asking to interview her, I just want to know what her favourite soup is so I can make. I lost hope. And then Jonathan Franzen emailed me. This was an email thread of Homeric proportions. I mean, there was like two emails, but go with me. Hi KD, it's a fun idea, and if I had a favourite soup recipe, I would absolutely share it. But I'm not a big soup guy. It's nourishing enough, but I never order it in restaurants, and my heart sinks a little when it's dinner at home. My eye wanders to the bread and cheese that go with it. Thanks for asking though, John F. My heart sank. Was I never going to know people's favorite soups? Was I going to give up? I dredged all my soupish passion and broke free of the croutons. I wasn't going to give up. I'm not going to let you down, people. I'm going to commit. Evening, John. We're on first name basis now. I appreciate the honesty. Sadly, mama didn't raise no quitter. I would not be able to look my kids in the face without dredging a recipe from yourself. What is an autumnal meal you look forward to? And I'll turn it into soup. There are always workarounds. And I know you and I can create soup magic. <laughs> and then I got an email the next day. KD. Heavy sigh. <laughs> We got a Jonathan Franzen chili recipe. I'm gonna turn it into soup. This is unofficially the official Franzen soup. Let's make it. I said that, but we're gonna have to do some of the corrections on this. Franzen, like most Americans, uses a really silly measuring system. And the fact that he asks for 16 ounces of three different types of beans panics me. 16 is not a number that I'm used to thinking like, Oh, that's little. I think this is a lot. And the fact that, like, 13 ounces go into a stone? Like, is this like a newborn baby's weight of beans? Oh, it's pounds of the LBS variety that turn into stones. How, how much is an ounce? Hey Siri, how many grams is 16 ounces of bean? Oh, you didn't want to speak, that's nice. 453. There's a kilo and a half nearly of bean? Of drained bean? How many beans are in this? Oh no, it's 28 ounces of tumma. Hey Siri, sorry to ask again. How many grams is 28 ounces? 800 grams. How big is this? That, this is a lot of volume. This is a lot of volume. How heavy is a newborn child? 3.3 kilograms. So I have half the weight of a newborn baby. Beans. I will leave the link for Franzen's soup recipe down below, word for word what he told me so you can replicate the Franzen soup yourself. Let's go to the shops.
hold up, my carrots fell out. Oh, we not got onions? I can't believe I didn't even check to see if we had any onions. But nevertheless, we got a leaf and we're gonna use it. And we need the ever so unhelpful one cup of onion, red peppers, and carrot. How big is a cup? I hate American recipes. Is it that big? Is it that big? Is a mug a cup? I don't particularly know, but I feel like a mug. We're gonna go with a cup. I went for a bougie pepper. This looks really inappropriate. I went for a bougie pepper because all the other red bell peppers looked absolutely horrendous. How much carrot? Perfect. Time we take the skin off, that'll do fine, won't it? I really should just use a bigger knife, but we're here now, aren't we? Interestingly, Franzen's recipe only calls for two spices. The first one being cumin. Didn't specify ground cumin, so I'm gonna put it in whole? I mean, this is the guy who wrote the story on WikiLeaks in Purity, so I'm pretty confident that he would be precise in what he wanted. Equally, he asked for ground ancho. Uh, I've never come across that in a Welsh supermarket. So I have chipotle chili paste. The only other chili powder I have is cashmere, but I think it wants the smokiness. I think that's what Franz is aiming for with that ancho. So we're gonna go for the paste. Cook it off and then add everything else. Another thing on the recipe which I thought was a bit weird was tomato juice. So we did buy tomato juice, but I'll be completely honest. Did he mean passata? I'm gonna trust the man. I, I've never tried tomato juice in about 10 years. And I don't think I like it. Well, let's give it a taste. Let's do a straight taste on this. We'll bring out the fine glassware for this gentleman. Oh, it smells of like spaghetti hoops and sausages that like, I can't stand. That is. Ugh. Does this smell? like tinned spaghetti hoops and sausages. Yeah, I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna try it. Do you think it's I'm gonna nice, like it's it? It's nicer than you'd expect. What do I do? Punch, fold it. Oh, 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 while we're here. Alex is making bread. I'm teaching her how to make bread. Any thoughts on Jonathan Franzen? Well, I'm glad he got back to you. That's all we need, that's all we need. You can witness my outfit change. Because I've done something for Mr. John Franzen. <laughs> and we're along John Franzen's. You're welcome, John Franzen. Do you think John Franzen was expecting this when he responded to me? No, I think he regrets everything. <laughs> Cheers, John Fran. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's peppery. It'd be nice if we made it into Bloody Mary. Should we? We haven't got vodka, we don't have vodka. We haven't even got onions. I forgot about the chilies. But especially when you got this hotness, Alexandra, you would forget about it, wouldn't you? On to the cooking peeps. Two tablespoons olive oil, two garlics. That's not cornbread. What? Oh, Alex, you can't just out me like that. <laughs> yeah, they didn't have any cornbread, so I went for um, a spelt bread. I think spelt and corn are pretty similar, aren't they? About that. We're using metals because I'm not using act wooden utensils in protest. While that's cooking, I'm gonna drain my beans. Half a baby's worth of beans. These ones don't have pole tabs. What has the economy come to? I don't think my colander's gonna contain all of this. Also, can no one, like, get into the whole conversation of, Oh, you're doing the can opener wrong! Like, no one cares. I don't care. If I cut myself, I cut myself. It'll give it a nice iron taste. Just leave me alone. This bean situation is ridiculous. Is Franzen from Bean Town, Boston? Is this where he's from? Why is there so many beans? I don't think I'm exaggerating when I say that's way too many beans. Is he having me on? Surely he's having me on. He's not like, ah, oh, that guy won't buy that many beans. I have, I've bought that many beans. That's a lot of beans. That's a, that is a bean chili. Okay, 10 minutes are up, so we're adding cumin and the chili and the chipotle paste. I saw that. Saw what? 
I might do my daughter's jelly beans. We're getting the smokiness now. We're getting the smokiness. I mean, it mostly smells of chipotle paste. I'm not going to lie. Tomatoes, all the beans, tomato juice. Wait for 45 minutes. I mean, it's a very simple recipe and I kind of appreciate that. It might make a good chilli, but will it make a good soup? A chilli soup? Isn't chilli just a chunky soup anyway? Our tins. And then, and then the most amount of bean. Look at this. That's dis that's despicable. And then one cup, I'm, I'm gonna go with uh, finest chalice for our Franzen. Our dear Franzen. Why is it so thick? This can't be that. I'm gonna clarify this with Alex. Could you help me please? Does this look really dry to you? But he's not making soup, is he? No. So I'd say that's about right for a chilli. Look, when's those tomatoes? Because they, like, do a little liquid burst, don't they? <laughs> Is that trademarked? <laughs> Actually, now that i got the camera at this angle, do you think it looks quite dark? You know what? Can't see a thing. I wonder if we had better lighting. Oh, wait. So the lights will be up. Do you wish you had a really fantastic, wonderful light from a British company that makes its products in Britain? Yes. Well, of course, by the side of you, it's the Serious Reader's Lamp. Wow. How bright is it, Alex? Jeez, wow. I can't believe it uses daylight wavelength technology. Well, Alex, there's more. When you bought this Serious Reader's Lamp, did you use the code KDBOX? Oh. Course. Well, then you know you'll get a. Wow, this is deeply bright. But how much more compact you could do it for all your soup making needs? I could jump a hundred times with that in my hand. Oh, I can see it now. Do you know what? We actually did this for a joke, but actually, that's. I can actually see it that's now. That's actually really good. Oh, how much do you like the Serious Reader's Lamb? A lot. I did say last night, I don't know how I knitted before. I use it every day. All the time, even when it's daylight. But now we leave that for 45 minutes. It smells really good, actually. 346 minutes later. It is time <laughs> to soup. It's still pretty thick, mate. Alex, I'm trying to artfully serve this up. You're just whinging about the hob, do you mind? <laughs> oh no, <laughs> she's gonna kill me. Bit of cilantro. Bon appetit. Alex has bread. This is the Jonathan Franzen chili bowl soup. If I react incorrectly, you can just cut me out though, yeah. Ooh, very tasty. Do you think it's going to make you fart a lot because of the beans? Yeah, probably. I'm going to get a mouthful of everything. I'm going to get some of the, the cream, the coriander. Ah, it's nice. Yeah. That's nicer than I thought it was going to be. Of one to five Adam drivers, what would you rate there? One being not great, five being good soup. I got three and a half. If you want to be on the next instalment of this favourite author's favourite soup, email me. My, my email's down below. Or I'll email you. It's ominous. It is ominous, you're right. <laughs>